Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use a metric ruler. To start off with, you need to make sure you have a metric ruler. And most rulers you'll find have both metric centimeters as well as inches. You can tell centimeters and inches apart because centimeters are smaller and inches are a lot bigger and the graduations are a little different. Okay, so you want to look and see the symbol. This says centimeters. If you flip this over, this would say inches. We want centimeters. The next thing to note is that on this one, there is a little space with no lines before the zero. Some rulers don't have that. You need to find where the zero is, where the start is. And for this one, it's right there. So we want to get this lined up right here next to it. So here we are, we're looking at this line right here, and you can see, I'm trying to line that up as close as I can so we know where that is. Now, you'll notice there are 10 lines between the zero and the one. Those are millimeters. There are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So if we go across, we can see that this goes all the way up past 15 centimeters. So we keep this on here, we're going to look down there, and we're going to see where that line ends. So we move it in, and we look, it's right here on the end. It's between the 15 and the 16. So this would be 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 15.5 centimeters. So this line, as we see it, it would be 15.5 centimeters. How many millimeters is that? Well, we can tell how many millimeters it is by how many centimeters it is. It doesn't have to be that complicated. We just move the decimal one place over. There are 10 millimeters and one centimeter. This would give us 155 millimeters. Okay, let's try another line. And this line right here put it right here okay excellent right on the zero now what do you think this one measures at where do you see that one ending okay now this one we are going to say it's two point two 2.2 .2 centimeters. How many millimeters is that? We just move that decimal over one place. That's 22 millimeters. Let's go to our next one and try one more. Take a look at this one. Where does that go up to? Let's look closer at the end of it. What would you say? This one, 10, between 10 and 11. That's almost right up there. One, five lines, that's right there. That's 10.5. How many millimeters is that? 105 millimeters. Okay, that's the basics on how to use the metric ruler, All right? You need the metric ruler, make sure you're using this side with centimeters. Then 
make sure that you're writing down your units and you can do it in centimeters and millimeters.